Okay, I think I'm like crazy. Ugh. I've tried to do this a couple times and sometimes like when I'm just starting the videos, like I just say something that's just crazy and then I just go off with it and it's just gone crazy. Okay, uh, I'm in my bedroom because I just want to relax and lately I've been bringing my computer into my room so that I can like uh, play video games while I'm talking to special people. And um, yeah, I got my little blanket on because woo! So that's the happy time. Now it's time for like seriousness. <laughs> Or whatever. Um, first, a little thing that I saw at the sub train station today with Jody. It was kind of crazy. This guy was walking around, and his butt was hanging out of his pants. Well, okay, so he's Japanese, and so he doesn't really have a butt, so it can't really hang out. But he was like sagging, and it was just like there it is. It's like right there. Like you can see it all. And I don't know if his underwear is see-through or if it was just really, really tight and wedgied, wedgied, um, but hugging. <laughs> this is the craziest. This is, oh my gosh, I think that's what straight guys do for boobs. <laughs> See, this is, I'm just going to do this anyway because I'm tired of doing this and I want to put, I want to talk about this. Um, not butt and boob. Oh my gosh. TNA. Um, I feel like. Karen or something. Jack and Karen. Oh, I love Will and Grace. I'm the king of tangents. Um, I'm sure there's people that do it more than I do, but I can go off on tangents all the time. And I'm on a tangent about tangents. Um, so yeah, it's just like, why do people do that? Is sagging still considered cool? I've never thought it was. I don't understand. I, I don't know why people want to go around showing their underwear. It's like, I don't want to see your underwear. There's like one person whose underwear I want to see. And I don't really want to see their underwear. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, so on to what I actually want to talk about. Oh, this is terrible. Um, so my mom sent me this email. And it's about, it's called like, this year's Stella Awards. And, um, I'm echoing into myself. And I was like, what are Stella Awards? I've never heard of these. And apparently, they are named after the woman who burned hot coffee on herself back whenever and sued McDonald's and won. Um, oh, hello, my former Japanese students. Um, I don't teach them Japanese. They are Japanese. I teach them English. Um, NAM and NOR, if anybody of you are watching. Um, so for you guys... This happened in America. In America, people sue for everything, and they usually win, which is completely stupid. So if you go there, be careful of what you do, because people are stupid and they just want money. Not everybody. But, like, reading these, I'm so embarrassed to be American. Like, I can't believe this. This is, like, our legal system. And it's just like, uh, like, okay, we're, I guess, with the people, let me first explain again. Stella, so she bought hot coffee, um... She was in the drive-thru, so she's in her car. She puts the hot coffee between her legs, with the, takes off the lid, and then she starts driving. The coffee, obviously as it would, spills on her and it burns her. And apparently it did some bad stuff. Turns out she was 81 years old, too. So it's like, lady, I'm sorry, but like, you're just fragile. And um, she sued McDonald's because she got burned. And it's... I've heard that like the coffee was way, way too hot and that that was kind of a valid thing or whatever. But still, it's like, hello, she's stupid. She's just stupid. You shouldn't reward st stupidity. It's just, when you're stupid, you should have to pay the consequences. It's like, I mean, yes, it's, it's terrible that she got burned so bad and she's an old lady and blah, 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 blah. But holy cow. I was thinking about this and it's like, I wanted to call these people retarded, but it's like, I think retarded people, to be politically incorrect, I'm sorry, but whatever, um, would be smarter than these people. And if not the people, okay, so we're judged by a jury of our peers. Is that not right? And this is telling me that our peers are freaking stupid. I was going to say retarded, but again, I think retards would be able to see <laughs> whatever. It's just, oh, I just can't believe this. And so like, these Stella Awards are given to people who have similar type cases where it's just they get paid tons of money because they were freaking stupid. Oh my gosh. 
So there's like seven of them. Um, I'll just go through real quick. This lady gets $80,000 from a furniture store because there was a toddler running around and she tripped over him and broke her ankle. The child was her own son. This man gets paid 74000 plus medical when his hand was run over by a neighbor. Um, it was run over because he was trying to steal the hubcaps from the car and he didn't realize that the guy was in the car about to drive. This guy was leaving a house he had just burglared and he was going through the garage, but the garage door didn't work and then he couldn't get back in the house, so he was trapped in the garage. He was trapped for eight days and had to survive on Pepsi and dry dog food. He was awarded $500,000 for his anguish. Um, next, this guy was given $14,500 plus medical after he was bitten on the butt by his neighbor's dog. Um, but... It, he was bitten because he was trespassing in the guy's yard and shooting the dog with a pellet gun over and over, apparently. Like, repeatedly is what they say. Next, this woman was paid $113,500 because she slipped on a soft drink and broke her tailbone in a restaurant. The soft drink was on the ground because earlier she had gotten, like, 30 seconds earlier, she was in an argument with her boyfriend and threw the drink at him and she didn't clean the drink up. So she slipped on her own drink that she had just thrown. Um, next, a woman who sued a nightclub and got $12,000 because she fell out of the bathroom window and knocked out her two front teeth. She was climbing through the window because she was trying to break into the club so she wouldn't have to pay to get in. And finally, this woman bought a new motorhome and when she was making her first trip, um, she drove onto the freeway, she put the cruise control at 70 miles per hour, and then she walked back into the kitchen and made herself a sandwich. While she was back there and nobody was manning the controls, the freaking thing drove off the road and crashed. Um, she said that because it didn't say in the owner's manual that you can't, you don't have to stay at the wheel, she should be awarded money. The jury gave her $1,750,000 plus a new motor home. Oh my gosh. So I was talking about this with a friend and he pointed out that that could possibly be valid in a way because um it doesn't say that with cruise control you can't you have to stay at the driver's seat i i maybe that is partially but i still don't buy that at all um you're just stupid and that freaking much money but it's like really these things it's this is saying it's good to be stupid because if you're stupid you will get money and you'll get rewarded and you'll be set for things it's like no, you need to weed out. I'm not... Ugh. Okay, it, it keeps sounding like I'm talking... There's my undies. I'm talking about like... Oh, and I'm just talking about how terrible it is to show off your undies. I'm sorry, everybody. Forgive me. Bad. I'll slap my hand. I was going to give myself a spanking, but that's bad. Um, oh my gosh, this is just a bad video. So, yeah, this is, this is just mind-boggling. I don't understand how people... How the freaking heck do they win these things? What, What is wrong with people? It, it, it's like other people that I talk to, when you hear about these things, everybody's just completely like, what is going on? Is there something magical that the jury knows that we don't? If, if these are the facts, are there facts that they're withholding that we don't know? Like, is there some, like, I don't know, this little... I don't even know what to say. I'm just completely, like, blank on how these things could actually be. Huh. Anyway, please don't be stupid. Please. It's like, oh, there's stupid people everywhere. And it's like, this isn't just like random stupidity that everybody does sometimes. This isn't something that like, oops, that was a, a blonde moment, quote unquote. This is these people, these juries went into a room and they deliberated about these cases and they decided, oh my gosh, this person deserves money. How do you decide that? Unless you are completely, completely stupid. You've got no brain. Your brain is mush. You're just completely retarded in the bad way. You're not like a real retarded person. You're like, you're like, you're just, you're retardedly stupid in a bad, bad way. No offense to retards, because that is like an offensive thing to retards, to call these people retards, because they are way stupider. And I'm not saying that retards are stupid. And I'm not saying that you should call them retards. This is terrible. And I'm just gonna end there. But don't be stupid, please. Please fix America, somebody. It's, it's broken.